Good afternoon. My name is Lou Friedman and I am the director of Brene Fine Art in Great Barrington, Massachusetts. First, we want to send our best wishes to all of you. Stay safe and healthy. I'm standing in the gallery which currently has the Contemporary Landscape Show on exhibit. The show is scheduled to open on Saturday, April 4th, but due to the coronavirus, no one has been able to physically see it. So today I'm going to do a virtual tour of the show with some brief commentary. We hope you enjoy it, and if there are any questions about the artists or specific pieces, please refer to the website or contact me directly. Thank you. In her new series, Sandy Litchfield paints contemporary landscapes and urban ecologies from an imaginary island that provides essential nutrients for her creative work. Litchfield created this world at a time when she needed an escape, and this expressive platform has become a portal for exploring color, texture, and composition for her art. David Vickery is a contemporary artist from Cushing, Maine, whose paintings merge nature and culture in an attempt to make sense of our place in the world. His contemporary landscapes include structures and mechanisms that part of our everyday life and satisfy essential needs. Jessica Hess uses hyperrealism in her depictions of the urban and rural environment that celebrate the art of graffiti. In the Artist Hide and Seek series, we see her interpretation of the contemporary landscape through a hole in a piece of wood which is covered with graffiti. Simona Prives creates collages that are combinations of maps, screen prints, and found material. Geological and industrial maps are disassembled and reconfigured, turning worlds that are familiar into the abstract. Then screen prints, paper, and found materials are overlaid onto the piece. The focus is on the process of decomposition and reconstruction, the examination of our complex relationships between the organic and the man-made. K.K. Kozik's paintings changed when she moved from Brooklyn to the Berkshires. The light was different in the country. The artist became more aware of the angle of the sun and how it illuminated the clouds differently or changed the color of the snow. Chris Malcolmson believes an artist needs something to start a painting off. Perhaps a particular color, a shape, or a phrase. His paintings have two main reasons for their creation. The first, to communicate what feelings he had that inspired him to paint the piece, and the second, to create something that will bring some peace and tranquility into busy lives. Warner Friedman is a contemporary landscape painter who uses shaped canvases to display vivid scenes set behind an architectural structure such as a fence, a gate, a bridge, a window, or a door. Friedman makes his paintings incredibly realistic by building models and photographing the natural light falling on the scene. 